So here's a really good example of a plan coming together. These are the six little small logs that I got on the video uh, entitled uh, Free Logs for the Sawmill. And I just so happened to need six more two by sixes uh, for the floor joists on this kiln. And I believe that I can get uh, six rough two by sixes uh, out of this right here. So uh, uh, yeah, that, that little trip paid off for me.
I don't know if you can see, but I've about got a trail worn back here in the woods. It's a lot of walking. So I hope you can see this okay, but you know, I was telling everybody that I'm using uh, green lumber to build this project because you know it's what I've got and you know I was concerned about splitting and cracking and checking and stuff like that but something I didn't consider is well you know dry lumber will do this too but I'm getting a lot of splitting on the ends uh, when I nail these when I put these nails in these floorboards so I think what I'm going to try to do and I'll give you an example uh, this one over here I don't know if it's in the frame but this one over here did it um, and uh, we'll just see if this one does it but what I'm going to do, I'm going to do this one as an example oh, well that one didn't really do it so let me just pan over here to this one and show you what this one did see that one right there that one split pretty bad on the end so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start drilling pilot holes in these on the ends of course it doesn't do it in the middle but I'm gonna start drilling pilot holes to uh, get a little better uh, finish on this putting pilot holes in there will help structurally and aesthetically because you know it looks really bad to have all these have all these splits on the end of these boards I mean it's not a finished structure but you know you still don't want it to look like crap so, you know, that, that looks a lot better. This one didn't do so bad because it's farther in, but that one looks a lot better than that one right there. Let me get, get in close here so you can see the, so you can really see the difference in those two. So the one on the right is with a pilot hole, the one on the left is without. They'll look a lot better with pilot holes in them. I want to let everybody know how much I appreciate the support that this channel has seen so far. When we first started this solar kiln project, it was to celebrate 100 subscribers, and at this point, uh, we're almost at 220, and that's really exciting. As you can see, I've got almost all of the floorboards down on the kiln, uh, except for one single board that needs to go down. It's a short board, it won't take very long to get down. And after that, we'll go ahead and get all these boards nailed down, and then we'll start cutting the... Um, 
and we'll start putting up the wall studs and get some walls on this thing and uh, it looks like it should start taking shape pretty soon um, so today is Sunday and uh, we'll start doing that tomorrow I really appreciate you watching uh, these videos um, hit the subscribe button if you want to get notifications about when more of these solar kiln videos um, are published so you can follow this work and if you like the videos consider hitting the like button as well if you have any suggestions of what you think I could be doing better or any suggestions for the construction of this kiln uh, don't hesitate to let me know I'm not a construction worker and I definitely appreciate some constructive criticism but again I really appreciate you watching